Shane? Over here. Aha! Hello. Shane Bretthall here. Oh boy. And I am not in my new wheelchair yet. Reach out lots of messages saying, What happened to the new chair? Is the new chair not gonna be a thing? Did you really lie about your new video chair? Oh boy, you're a liar. It's not ready for me yet. My butt goes numb. There's issues with the joystick positioning. And we don't have time to get all the appointments. Because that's an amazing appointment with a specialist for each of those issues. And that's like assuming... It's a months long process. Yeah, and I called the amazing appointment and their butt to like reach out. So... We're leaving for LA today, right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> uh, we are packed. <laughs> we are ready. We are not bringing the new wheelchair. So, in all of our LA videos, you will not see the new wheelchair. Yeah. We're working on it. Oh, the other thing is every, every time I have to make an appointment to like fix an issue, I get billed like $1,000. Mm -hmm. That's not a joke or an no, exaggeration. Literally $1,000. Um, and so I just don't feel particularly in a rush yeah. to do that. You're not excited to spend thousands and thousands more now, dollars? How much, it, how much did this cost again? I don't think we ever talked about that. $120,000. Uh -huh. Thankfully, I only had to pay out of pocket five and a half, thousand. six. Yeah. That, thousand, yeah. Uh, which was, you know, annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I, I there's issues. And I know they're going to be very difficult to solve. Yeah. Probably. And you already tried to solve the butt problem yeah. and it didn't work. So it's just... It's going to be multiple appointments. We're a little bit at a loss. Yeah. It is not a choice that Shane is making to ignore the new chair. He really wishes he was using it. That's what happened. That's why I'm not bringing it to LA. Um, okay. We're now late. We're so late. We're late. Let's see. <laughs> Hello. Chloe's no? No, different one. Oh. All right. You excited, Chloe? <laughs> oh, boy. So this is our pile, and somehow we're supposed to get all of it into the car. Oh, and a refrigerator. Yeah, the fridge isn't here yet. It's still plugged in. <laughs> oh, man. Good luck. Oh no. Freaking <laughs> They're not on the fish. What do we do, Chloe? Yeah. Well, we got everything to fit. Uh-huh. Just barely. It's just sort of, it's hard to see because it's just kind of a pile. It actually looks pretty good. There's stuff down in front of me. Yeah, I mean, there. Shane can't move. There's stuff a lot in the back. And Chloe's ready for her road trip. She just laid down. She's like, let's go. You know, after this experience, I would vote that we just drive straight through and I know. Don't, don't stop five times. It is it is way. Thursday right now. We are not supposed to arrive until Friday of next week. Which means a lot of unpacking uh -huh. and repacking the van. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. And we're leaving a day early because there's a huge snowstorm, yeah. which we're still going to hit a little bit of. It's just, you know, this trip. It's I never, never, never just simple. like a smooth... <laughs> Smooth, easy exit. Yeah, but we'll see. But part of the fun. Off we go. Our first drive is seven hours, and we're leaving. It is one twenty, so we will not arrive until that. probably nine. I didn't want my mom to hear that. Oh, your poor mom is like, you left at one. <laughs> first airbnb we made it we made it and it is so nice so and cute. it's so cute it's an old school house built in like the 1860s or 70s and i learned a lot i just there's a book here that this schoolhouse is mentioned in. i just read all about it it was like rebuilt a few times so i need to reread the chapter before <laughs> i'm clear on the history but um it involves someone riding a cow <laughs> <laughs> we can tell you that story in the morning and we'll do a tour, but it's it's super dark now. It's what time is it? Like nine? 
9.30. So we're, we're just gonna go to bed soon and then we'll do a tour in the morning. It is really, really pretty and cool. Yeah, we had a fantastic little dinner. Yes, we did. We brought our food from home this time. We had, I had a tuna fish sandwich and Shane had a microwavable cup of rice. It was really good. It had garlic and olive oil. Yeah, it was the rice. Surprisingly good. It was really good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Now that we're hanging out, yep. get ready for bed. And Chloe's wandering around. Chloe doesn't like the glass doors, but otherwise she's having a good time. See, I was told the dreams were made to be believed in. So I put every single dream in you. But you said the bar so high above the sky. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> My God. We had our heat off overnight, or like turned down. Yeah. Because we like to sleep in the cold. And it was really cold when we got up, so. Mm-hmm. Now somebody's up. wrapped in his blanket. And under here is a heating pad that we brought. That's how you know both of us are like always cold. This is why we're going to a warm weather uh, location. Literally. We can't handle cold. No. Nope. Glad that we bought a house in Minnesota. I know. I know. Welcome to Airbnb number one, Kansas City edition. Today we'll be bringing you on a tour of where we've been staying for the last 12 hours. 12 hours. Like we said, this is an old schoolhouse that was restored. Um, so we were really surprised that it was as accessible as it is. There is a step to get in the front door, but it's a small step and we have a one step ramp. So it works perfectly for us. The inside is pretty spacious. The owner was really accommodating. She like moved some things around to make it more spacious. All right, let's begin the tour. What do you think, Chloe? Chloe's gonna start by warning you about the creepy car parked outside. That's actually our car, but she doesn't remember that. Any thoughts on the kitchen, Shane? The owner left us cookies. Yep. That were delicious. Yes. So good. There's something so special about an Airbnb that like pays attention to little touches like that. Like, yep. They have like 90 different kinds of tea. Yeah. You should show them. And like all the all the things that you would expect if this was your home. Yep. And a tea maker. That's a big deal for you. Yeah, there's very rarely a designated tea water boiler, which is just so much easier than a pot. You know, you can just pour it into the cup. I love it. And yeah, they often expect you to use the like Coffee curate. Oh yeah, curate that tea. tastes like coffee. Every hotel is like, you can just use this pod in the coffee maker. <laughs> like, oh my God, oh, the horrible. One that, that coffee's been run through 90 times <laughs> in the last week. Yep. There's Chloe's food bowls. That's her most important part of the tour. And here's the living room. This place is so bright and airy with so many windows. I know, it's so cool. And outside here, you can kind of see right there-ish. There is a, like a mode path that goes all around and it's a really pretty nature trail. So we walked that this morning. Here's the bedroom. And there's little historical information things and photos all around about... Tell them about the cow. Tell them about the cow. <sighs> How about I just read the passage from the book so I don't uh, mess it up? I'd like if you do it from memory. No, it's a good passage. Okay. I, did, I did not think you're supposed to sit in that. Why? I think it's fine. Welcome. I'm Miss Hannah. Oh, I'm into this. <laughs> I'm going to read to you a small passage about Yarnold, district number 40. What book is that? The school is believed to have had its origin in a log cabin erected in 1864. Oh, is it Harry Potter? No. 
Rural Schools and Schoolhouses of Douglas County, Kansas by Goldie Piper Daniels. Oh. And this book is so old, it does not have a publication page or anything. I don't know when it was published. Um, uh, here, here we go. Okay. So, Yar Thomas Yarnold came from England with his wife in 1857 and built a stone house of six rooms a short distance east of the school site. So, somewhere over there. Um, his daughter Anna was born here, and when the little girl was old enough to attend school, she sometimes rode to school on a cow, which, when released, dutifully returned alone to home pastures. That sounds so fake. Yep. She would just hop off her cow, and it would go home. I didn't know you could ride cows. You're I probably, guess you can ride anything. You're probably not supposed to. Anything that's big. I mean, it, she was like five, a small child. True. Can probably ride a cow pretty easily. I could probably ride Tori. And then it just talks about, like in 1898, Ella Stone, at a salary of $30 per month, taught the 26 pupils. Wow. I know. And then they had a debate team here. They held different debates that were like, one was uh, that the United States should aid the two republics in South Africa in their struggle for freedom. But then the next week it was that the cow is more useful than the horse. Especially if you ride it. So there were like fun ones. And for that one, it was so not important that they let two women participate in the debate. Oh, jeez. Not in the important one, but in the cow one, there were two women who were allowed, so. Oh, everyone in history. History. Lovely. <laughs> I love stuff like that, though. I didn't realize I was so excited that there was, you know, A like this book. school is in this book. All right, time for your lessons. I'm, I should get out of the little mini school desk. <laughs> it's kind of small. So we're actually hanging out in this apartment or house, um, sorry, whole house, <laughs> uh, all day today because we had to come a day early to get ahead of the snowstorm, but we can't move on yet because the Airbnbs along the way are all booked for very specific days. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So we have to stay on schedule. There's a snowstorm coming here tonight mm -hmm. that might complicate getting out and on our way to Oklahoma tomorrow. But we're going to risk it because otherwise we have nowhere to go in Oklahoma. Yeah, we could leave today, but then we'd be in Oklahoma a day early. And With we nowhere to go. We can't get that Airbnb until tomorrow. Mm. It's a whole big deal. So we'd end up being in a hotel in Oklahoma for a night and then moving to the Airbnb. It would just be annoying. Such a pain. But it might be more of a pain if we get so much snow that we're stranded here. Yep. Um, so we have enough flares. We'll send one up if we need <laughs> assistance. And hopefully one of you... One of you in Kansas. ...lives in Kansas yeah. and might be on the lookout. If you see a flare, that's us in the schoolhouse uh, without food. Oh, my we're God. We're out of food at that point. <laughs> we brought so much food. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have enough food for, like, two weeks. Yeah, we're good. So... No flares. I don't know if there's other people coming to stay here. Probably. But we're friendly. We'll, <laughs> we'll share the bed. So we'll keep you updated on how all of that goes. We're filming this whole trip. So come along with us. Struggle through the snow. Oh, wow. The scheduling. <laughs> all right, bye.